River State Governor Yesomezo Wike has announced that the state government would set up a judicial commission of inquiry to ensure that the Federal Special Interrogatory Court, FSAS, personnel who killed Dr. Ferry Berigwe, PDP Kana Collation Agent, are brought to justice. Governor Wike also announced a 200 million naira scholarship for the four children of the late Dr. Berigwe, directing the widow of the deceased to open bank accounts for each of the four children. Set up uh, the judicial power of inquiry to make sure that those who are responsible for this debt do not go free. Yes. But let each of the children should have an account that will be looked after by you. And the state government will pay to each of them 50, 50 million naira to start with education to make sure that the education is not stopped one way or the other. And immediately, I don't know the council chairman is there. He spoke on Saturday in Pataket when he led leaders of River State on condolence visit to the family of the slain lecturer. The governor decried the shooting of the late lecturer by men of FSAS led by River State FSAS commander Akin Fakoride at the Kana Collision Center where he served as the PDP collision agent. He said the fatal shoot lead to his death. It's most unfortunate that a young man who got back a PhD degree, a PhD degree, that who was a collection of science was shot by a federal science left by a in an attempt to cut away materials from the ownership election that took place on the 9th of March 2019. It is most unfortunate that is what we get instead of us to allow our people to choose who will prevent them, who will govern them. The security agencies would not allow that. Rather, they prefer to kill us. That's not a matter of two, two, I can replace him. We can't buy him back. If it is possible to buy him back, we would have done that. But what I want to assure all of you, those who killed him, <laughs> Governor Wike said the late Dr. Ferry Beribe remained committed to the PDP even on his sick bed. He said that the deceased sent him a text message saying that he would be very happy when Governor Wike is declared winner of the election. I saw a text from him. He told me that the only way he's happy that I will declare the winner on the sick bed. Yes, that's what you have been saying. He sent me a text. So I was shocked this morning when I was told that he had, uh, that I couldn't believe it. Governor Wike stated that the state government will also construct a house for the family of late Dr. Ferry Beribe and participate in his burial. The government, by the grace of God, must give the children scholarship to read to university level. <laughs> must build a house for them in the village. <laughs> Must employ you as a wife so you can have something to feed the children. Also speaking, PDP National Chairman Prince Uche Sekondu said the late lecturer was a victim of calculated oppression of the oil rich states by the army and FSAS. You remember the case of Ken Sarawewa and several other leaders of Ogoni. And this one is a young man with a PhD died at the collation center for election that in democracy people are free to make choice I, I believe that it, there is more to it than the well calculated operation of the army and security agencies to continue to suppress the people who are producing the wealth of the country. He said that the country is in distress, noting that the nation 
is sitting on the leg of gunpowder in view of the negative activities of the federal government. That a commander of the federal SAS, a King Fakrode, who killed several people in River State last time in 215, the same thing again, and he's, he's not, he's untouchable, cannot be transferred, cannot be disciplined. I don't know a police or army, they have turned to an arm or a political party to be responding. But this is the truth and this is the fact. You can hear from the family. So it's, it's not politics. We're not playing politics here. Widow of the deceased, Mrs. Funke Berigwe said that the family is yet to fully celebrate the doctorate degree backed by Dr. Berigwe before he was brutally murdered by FSAS operatives at the coalition center. <laughs> Only for this morning, throughout the night, he could not sleep. He battled the life. He battled the face. He battled the face. She said that her late husband was the pillar of the family whose sudden death will negatively impact their lives. <laughs> Father of the deceased, Dr. Comdot Berigwe, said he was shocked by the killing of his son by FSAS operatives. The retired police officer described the late academic as his hope and future. They would have shot him, caught with the leg, and it, it become a, a clipper for me to be seen with, with talk. I called him last yesterday morning. I've been there in the hospital. I wanted to see the 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 the, 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 the doctor. They said no, I shouldn't bother. Ben Lakia, brother of the deceased, said the slim academic only recently backed his doctorate and was preparing to make further progress before he was cut down. A breadwinner of the family, a breadwinner of the community, a breadwinner of public kingdom. I don't know where we will start from. We are in shock. Our ego has gone. Our arms, our hands have been broken. Several mourners gathered at the residence of the deceased to sympathize with the family. <laughs> 